Welcome back to another video here with Angel B Designs. If you are new, welcome. If you are not, welcome back. As you can see, I'm in my house. Um, I do this often on my channel. I record my whole video at work. I get home to edit, and I realize I forgot to do my intro. So I have to do my intro here. But in today's video, I'm going to be doing a shirt with the Caesar Easy Color DTV, and I'm cutting it with my X tool. So I do have a couple of videos on my channel where I was using the Caesar Easy Color DTV, which is the direct to vinyl. I mean, I'm, yeah, direct to vinyl um, material, and I was cutting it with my Cricut Maker. I did have to switch out my blade to the 45 degree blade that I got from my Cricut Explore Air 2 because I was having issues with my blade cutting it through the material. Sorry if you hear my son in the background. Um, but I did have to switch the blade. So I decided to try out my X tool, cutting it with my X tool because I wanted to see if I was gonna have the same issue, which I did not. So I will be cutting the Caesar Easy Color DTV with my X tool using the blade cut feature and we'll be making this shirt. It's super, super cute. Love how it turned out. Couple little, um, you know, minor flaws here and there. You'll see in the video where you know, this little, the inside pieces didn't cut, but I will let you know how to fix that and remedy that. So if you want to learn how to use your DTV inside your X tool, go ahead and stick around. Okay guys, so I have my image printed out here on the um, Caesar Easy Color DTV and it is printed on the white side. If you purchase this product, there's like a kind of cloudy side and then a white side. You want to make sure you print on the white side which is right here um and you do not have to mirror either so this is my mat my x tool mat and what i'm going to do is i'm going to place this kind of like in the middle when it comes to the x tool you don't necessarily have to place it like on the on the top corners like you would for a cricket machine because when we put this inside the machine the camera is going to be more centered whereas like a cricket is going to be cutting from the top going down the X tool is more of a centered, you know, type of machine. Okay. So I have it on my mat here. Now what I'm going to do with the X tool mat, sorry if you can hear my son in the background. Um, we are at the office today together. Um, but with the X tool, the back side is sticky so that you can stick the X so that you can stick the mat to the bottom of the X tool so that when it's cutting, you know, it doesn't move, you know, with like a Cricut machine, you have the rollers that hold your mat in place. But with the X tool, there's no rollers so that your mat doesn't move while it's cutting. It has a sticky side. Okay. So I'm going to remove the adhesive, the uh, protective cover from my sticky side of my mat and oh excuse me we're gonna go ahead over here and we're gonna place it in and i'm just gonna show you guys this is my x tool i know you can't see but i'm just gonna stick it in here and then i'll show you once i get it in okay so that's how it looks inside the machine you just put your mat right on the inside and with the adhesive bottom it sticks right to the bottom of the machine so that it can go ahead and cut okay now I'm going to take you over to my laptop. We're going to look in creative space, the X-Tool creative space, and I'm going to show you how we're going to cut this. Okay, guys, so we are in the X-Tool creative space now, um, and I'm going to show you how we're going to go ahead and get this cut out. Um, I did go ahead and close my top, which is how I got the image um, onto the creative space. The first thing you want to do is come over here and do your settings, because if you set up um your whole cut and then you come over here and do your settings it's going to readjust your um your picture and then you're going to have to redo it so do your settings on the side first we're going to do a blade cut and i'm going to use the sticker paper um setting um this is the first time i'm trying it so we're just going to see if it works i do have to weed it out kind of like you would a sticker so i'm just going to see if it works Okay, so this is the image that we have on the inside of our X tool machine. So what I'm going to do is go to file, import, and then I'm going to bring in the exact same image. 
And I did print this from Silhouette Studio, so I did have to readjust the size a little bit, but that's fine. And basically what you want to do is you want to line up the image that you brought in with the image that's on your canvas. And you want to definitely try to get it as close as possible so that you don't have any white around your letters. Okay. And that looks pretty good to me, okay? Now, this is a PNG file. So if I were to try to go and cut it like this, um, if I select it and then I go and try to hit process, it's gonna say there's no vector elements available because it can't cut out the PNG. So it either has to be a SVG file, a vector file, or a way around that would be to create an outline. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna select this image and then we're gonna go up here to outline. And it's basically just an offset. And we want this offset to be zero. So it's gonna cut exactly where it should. Okay, come on, I need my offset, there we go. So now the offset is exactly around the letters exactly how the image looks rather than it creating a small offset or even an inset. Um, we don't want either one of those. We want it to cut exactly how the image looks. So that's why you put it at zero. And then we're going to go ahead and press OK. Now you can see over here we have actual cut settings because we created that offset um, and that's what it's going to actually cut. It's not actually cutting the image. It's technically cutting the offset, okay? We're not going to adjust any pressure or speed because this is the settings for X tool. We're going to use their white sticker paper settings. And then we're going to go over to process. And now it's framing our work and it's going to let us know that it is going to take three minutes to cut this out. Now, from my experience, the time, most of the time isn't right. <laughs> Whatever their estimated time is, typically it's always longer. Um, but now from this point, what you're going to do is you're going to press the blue button on the X tool machine. You're going to hit start. And then we're going to press the blue button on the machine. And now it's gonna go ahead and cut it out. So I will come back when it's all done. All right, guys, um, I'm back here. And again, if you hear my son in the background, he is at work with me today, but it's done cutting now. The total time was about five minutes. So let's see. Now we're going to see. If it cut all the way through. Okay. So I'm just going to place it back on top of the backing as well i'm just gonna weed some of it up um to see what it looks like before i take it off i don't like this either let's try this one all right okay so it looks like I need to do a little bit of some calibration because I do see um, it kind of cuts a white offset a little bit. Yeah! Oh my goodness. <laughs> so either my either it wasn't lined up all the way like I thought it was or it's not calibrated. But that's fine. Because look how good it's weeding up. It's weeding up really, really nicely. So I'm okay with that. Mm. I don't 
probably those parts needed up. Okay. So. Yeah, it didn't cut out. It didn't cut out. Levi. Hey. Sorry, guys. So, for around here and here and here, it didn't create like an offset there, which I forgot about. I'm sorry. Give me one. Okay. Sorry, y'all. I had to get my baby together. But, yeah. So, here, I wasn't paying attention to the offset being created here and in between the letters so that those would get cut and weeded out as well um so it didn't cut like here 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 and here so i could weed these pieces out but other than that so basically what i would have to do is inside the program is i would kind of have to like edit it in a way so that or create another offset in a way or play with the offset to make sure that these pieces cut out so the offset when I created it probably it created like completely around rather than you know what I'm saying I, or maybe do like an inset a little bit so that this could be tighter if that makes sense so our offset we could make it an inset a little bit to kind of make sure that these pieces got cut out from the offset hopefully that makes sense okay but other than that it looks really good i'm happy with it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and get some transfer tape i'm just using some that i purchased off of amazon i'm going to get my heat press warming up I forgot to turn it on okay and then I'm just gonna cut a piece and I'll leave a link down below for all my materials um, I got the easy color ETV from heat transfer warehouse and then I got the transfer tape from um, uh, I got it from Amazon. Okay, so I'm just gonna put it down right in the middle like that, and then I'm gonna grab a squeegee. So, all in all, I do like how it cut. I, you know, when I was pulling it up, the, this part right here, it was coming up really, really good. It's just that I may, you know, you may have to play with that offset a little bit. Or if you want to use an SVG, you know, you can do that too. Um, you would just have to play with it just a little bit. And then what I like to do is just turn it over and I remove the backing away from the material like that. Okay, so here is our transfer. My heat press is heating up right now. I will come back when it's ready and we'll go ahead and press this on a shirt. All right, guys, so my heat press is about ready. Um, I am using the HTV Ron Auto Press. If you have any questions about this auto press, I do have some content on my channel. Um, in regards to it, like the unboxing, my reviews, all of that. I've been using it ever since I got it, honestly. Um, I'm just using an adult t-shirt ruler here to line this up. We're going to go ahead and get our image and we're just going to place it that looks about right uh oh this piece of tape is sticky and it's sticking to my ruler there we go okay 
I did already do a pre-press as well as lint roll it um, while I was waiting for it to heat up. But I'm going to go ahead Okay, so we're going to press this at 320, uh-oh, my thing's not on auto. We're going to press this at 325 degrees for 15 seconds. Don't forget to uh, join my Facebook group, follow me on social media, all of those good things. I will have everything linked down below as well as a link for the X tool as well. I do believe that they have a sale going on right now and I think this is a hot peel isn't it y'all I cannot remember if this is a hot peel or not I'm just gonna press it make sure it's nice and press down and adhere to the shirt I do think it is a hot peel Look at that. It looks so nice. Oh, I like that color. I just do not like y'all these little white spots here. But that's okay. All that is is we just I, I just have to play with the offset a little bit to make sure that those pieces cut out. But look, I love that. Y'all already know I love the Caesar uh, Easy Color DTV. But I like the fact that um, the blade. So I don't know if you guys remember from my videos when I was first doing it. I was having issues with it cutting my DTV all the way through. So I didn't have it to where I had to change out the blade from my old machine from my Explore Air 2. I had to switch the blade to my Maker 3 in order to get it to cut right. So, I really like the fact that I had no issues. Y'all saw when I was pulling, when I was weeding it out, I had no issues um, weeding it. So, that's, I'll definitely, once I figure out, play with the offsets to get, make sure that these little pieces cut out, um, I will definitely be using my um, X tool to cut my DTV because that was way easier than that the trouble I was having with my maker three okay but that is all I have for this video guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to like share subscribe I know y'all hear my baby in the background he is cutting up um but yeah that's all I have for this video guys thanks so much for watching bye